Hi there guys, um, we're just on the Feed the Beast server quickly, myself and Digital Reaper. Hello. And uh, today, this is a sort of video response to B00. Hello. Um, so we're, I saw uh, a video B Dubs posted up last night of uh, his cow farm using the feeder and uh, all that stuff. We thought we'd uh, show him our cow farm and see if uh, see if he fancies this as a bit more effective and if maybe he'd like to use it. I don't know. Um, but uh, basically, this uh, room here, as you can probably tell, we've got the soul cage in the middle there. And uh, once I I'm ready to leave this room, I will set it up, but um, these on the floor are transposers and they basically, if there's a redstone signal applied to them, they will suck in any item within a 3x3 three three range and uh, obviously this room can be used for anything, so we could put anything in here, so um, chickens, sheep if we wanted wool, or chickens if we wanted feathers, stuff like that, if we just put their soul shard in there, they will spawn and uh, cause chaos in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the cow soul shard. As you can see we've got 512 kills. Well we had more than that but because when you put it in the soul cage it resets to the last sort of round level. So tier 1, 2, 3 or 4. And uh, yeah so if we put this in here this should in theory start spawning cows. In theory. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Okay, so there's our first cow. Um, I seem to remember the spawn rates being a bit quicker than this. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to put these turrets down. And I'm going to turn my sound up. Now this turret, on his own, will probably do a pretty pretty substantial job. But um, for, best, for best results, we found out that if you add two, then you can't really go wrong. Now, as these cows are being killed, all their goods are being picked up by the transposers and uh, these pneumatic redstone tubes are feeding them into this um, ender chest here. So, as you can see, there's the beef. Um, something else is happening to the leather and uh, bits and pieces, we'll explain that a bit in a second. But this, uh, the way this works is, and I will turn these down quickly, the way this works is these tubes carry a redstone signal and uh, with this thing pulsing sort of like every second I think it is, uh, the transposers pick up um, everything that goes in there basically. So that's that's how that happens and you can see we've got an awful lot of beef from this endeavour of, uh, of ours. But um, this is only one part of the system. We needed this as a part of another system. So if we go in here you'll see that there's a sugarcane farm and in the middle here there are some golems and they're putting uh, stuff into the relay. One of them is a wood golem and he picks items up that are on the floor and the other one is a smart straw golem and uh, what makes him smart is that he can harvest crops but at the same time he can also replant crops. I don't think you can do that with you can't do that with anything other than the smart one ADR. No. So uh, yeah, so these pick up the sugar cane and put it into the trans into the relay, and this ray relay is then connected to this uh, ender chest over here. And as you can see, papers being fed in and leathers being taken out and all this good stuff. So if we if we follow this system to the end, like this, all these items are being thrown into this ender chest. If we then follow this, uh, if we follow this all the way up and around here. This is our base by the way. Um, we'll be starting new for uh, Minor Digital Reaper's other series, secret series that we're going to be starting soon. But um, yeah, if we come down here you can see that this is sort of like our little work area and uh, we'll, we'll explain this a bit more later as well. And uh, if we come down here, we've got this machine here exact rigged up to the ender chest the exact same ender chest that's down by the uh, cow and sugarcane farm. So this system here is the exact same one. Now if we look in behind this wall here, oh I might have destroyed something by accident. I think everything's okay. If we look behind this wall here, this auto crafting table takes the paper, takes the sugarcane and turns it into paper. 
Then this auto crafting table will send its paper over to this auto crafting table, which will then take leather out of this ender chest as well and turn it into books. Now, books are what we're after. And uh, this auto crafting table will then feed into this via this tube and motor here. And this is where we get our finished books. Now, the reason we wanted all these books, uh, obviously, you can, if you're doing this B00 or if anyone else is doing this, you can do it with anything. You can set the auto crafting tables up to sort of make, so if you could, I don't know, if there was a way to, well, if you set it up so you're macerating cobblestone, you can automatically get sand, right? If you set this system up to work with creepers, you could have it so this chest is dropping all the sand and the gunpowder into this chest, and this auto crafting table could then be making TNT, and is storing it in this chest here, or a barrel, or whatever you've got. I think if you do it with a barrel, the tube has to come up and down, so you'd need to replace this pulse. And uh, yeah, so you'd be able to do, you'd be able to auto craft TNT just off that. But um, to stop this chest getting so overflowed that we can't do anything with it, because this chest used to get filled up with beef non-stop. Like, this was a serious problem for us. We had more beef coming in and more leather coming in than we had paper, and obviously that would jam up the system, and yeah, it's just not good. So what we've done here is we've applied a filter, and for every full stack of leather, or every 10 stack of beef, it will just uh, send it out the back and get rid of it, because we don't need it. We've, you saw upstairs we've got a full stack. I mean, we've got paper here for days. And uh, yeah, so that's that system. Um, and uh, I don't know what I've done here. I think I've lost some bricks, but never mind. So yeah, that's the book system. And uh, oh look, DR to the rescue, look at him go. And uh, yeah, as you can see, our book farming operation has been very successful. We've had to turn this machine off recently. The only, the only reason it's starting back up now is so we can show uh, for this video. But the reason we've set this up is so that it can work in conjunction with our mob spawner here. So as you can see, it's a zombie and skelly mob spawner. Now if we flick this switch and run back upstairs quickly, we can see what that's just activated. And in there is two tier 5 spawners. One of them is skeleton and one of them is zombie. Look at his little hat! And uh, yeah, so they're being sent in this mob spawner. There's a problem with a couple of them getting stuck up there. We'll fix that at a later date. And uh, yeah, so they all go down there, and they're spawning at a stupid rate per minute. So yeah, as you can see, they're all getting gathered up down here. I'll turn my sound on a little bit again. These guys are all getting gathered up down here. Now, as you can see, we've got this weird jar with eyes, or it's a brain in a jar, right? I think it's a brain in a jar. Yeah, there we go. So uh, this thing basically will store any X light. It will pick up any XP on the ground and then store it so that you, then you can left click it and get any experience out of it that has been collected here. This is so, so good for reducing lag on servers because before we managed to discover this thing it was just chaos. You'd, uh, you'd do this because obviously they're undead zombie and uh, skeleton and you'd get absolutely flooded out by the amount of experience that used to come out here. Now, <coughs> now if you uh, right click this jar, I thought it was left click, if you left click it you've got a chance of breaking it and you pick up all the XP in there if you break it um, but he's kinda of weird how he follows you around, I mean look at this guy he's so creepy but um, yeah it's a really controlled way, really easy method of getting experience, doesn't lag the server out and I think this thing's still going, oh no 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 the switch is up so it's not still going and uh, yeah so right click on that and then we can come over here grab up one of our books hit up the enchanting table, bam, done. Projectile projection, and then we'll uh, come over here and sort it into our uh, chests of... Hang on, where is it? In honor of generic B, where is it? There it is! Jenny, these are the first thorns enchant I managed to pick up, so, uh, ever. I haven't even got them on the vanilla server yet. This is uh, all thanks to Feed the Beast and uh, Cheers! I promise I'll put you on a, I'll put them on a set of armor that's worthy. But um, yeah, we've had to <laughs> upgrade our chest to diamond for this one, so we've got all this stuff here, and obviously um, all this stuff here. So this, Zisto's come to join the party. So all this stuff here is uh, what we've got gained basically off this system here. But like I said, the book system. This machine can be turned into anything as long as you've got the right auto crafting table. Like I said, with chickens. 
you could get it to there's ways you can rig it into furnaces and get it to auto cook meat those are some very fancy pants you've got there Didge very fancy yay and uh, thank you. they're mine now <laughs> yeah. so uh, that is basically that system in a nutshell um, yeah so you can do it with anything like it it will cook chickens if you've got like a furnace rigged into it and all bits and pieces like that it can turn sheep into beds if you've got like a wood farm operating at the same time it will turn it into planks and then you can combine them but I don't know why you'd want like an excess amount of planks or sorry beds but the uh, reason this is good obviously so we've got infinite amount of books now that we can just enchant so if we go back up to that system upstairs if we go back up to this system upstairs um, you can see we'll end the video just as a uh, we'll see more cows getting slaughtered but it is literally an infinite system and uh, <clears throat> B00 since you've got a feeder farm there you can take a soul shard go over to the feeding station and kill as many cows as the feeding station can keep up with and you'll fill your soul shard quicker and that way you'll get more you'll get more items basically so Tier 5 soul shards, I should have mentioned this while we were up by the mob spawner, but tier 5 soul shards are controlled by redstone. Uh, I don't know if you knew that. But um, obviously with this one it's only a tier 4, so I think this one's controlled mainly by light level and that kind of thing. As you can see, the cows don't stand a chance. These guys from the portal turret mods are fantastic. And uh, yeah, this is the Mindcrack uh, mod pack as well. So that... Uh, it is all compatible, everything should work fine, um, but I'm sure there are more more ways than just these portal guys to kill cows. But yeah, that is just basically our little system that we've got set up for infinite amount of books. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, uh, and uh, we, me, myself and Digital Reaper, we will catch you in our, uh, in our new series that we're starting soon, hopefully. Um, so look out for that, and uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching guys, this has just been a little insight into this system, and uh, hopefully you guys use it, improve on it, if you do improve on it, let us know, because we'd love to know how we can make this system better, uh, but uh, yeah, from myself and Digital Reaper, we bid you farewell, thank you very much for watching, and we will catch you next time, bye bye.
Let